Hey guys, what up and welcome back. So I don't know, I'm kind of rushing, kind of rushing. Um, it is, it's not that late. I'm just rushing because I kind of want to do something else. But anyway, so any of you that have been on Twitter um, will know that lately this soft glam thing has been um, floating all over Twitter. There have been pictures and everyone is really trying to figure out what soft glam is. And I had been seeing a whole bunch of um, videos, well not videos, just pictures. And then people started doing videos about what was soft glam and what wasn't soft glam and all that good jazz. So I decided to do my own, okay? The reason I decided to do my own really was because most of the pictures that I've seen about what soft glam is, everybody's doing warm tones as usual. And I wanted to do um, a video with cool tones because cool tones can sometimes be very harsh looking um, if you don't know how to play with them well. Um, yeah, I think for a lot of people, cool tones are very just very difficult to work with in general. So I wanted to do a soft glam look. Um, with cool tones and show you guys that it can be done those of you who follow me because I Do a lot of cool tones and that's what you guys use This is for you and then for anybody else who wants to play around with it, you know, whatever Um, I am not going to be doing a talk through video. This is strictly going to be a voiceover Um, so stick around because that's coming right up and also if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and if you have an idea of what you think soft glam is, and if you don't think it's this, then you can go ahead and tell me. Tell me what you think soft glam is. But personally speaking, before we even get to the video, let me tell you what I think soft glam is. Soft glam is a beat, right? It is a beat, but it's a natural looking beat. Personally speaking, I think most of the stuff that I do is already soft glam. Um, you know, but I guess someone said no, it's a little bit more intricate, you know, like certain things like how you do your contour, um, your lips and stuff like that. So you'll see all of that in the video. Um, but personally speaking, I generally think that most of what I do is soft glam. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is what we have right now. And um, stay tuned, like I said, because the video is coming up right now. And I won't be back to say anything. So as usual, it's been real, it's been fun, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Alright guys, so the key to a good soft glam, I believe, is a flawless glowing base. And to achieve that, we're going to start off with the e.l.f. Uh, I think it's called the Glow Up Primer, the Glow Up Serum Primer. Um, this is the first time I'm using this primer and it does have like flecks of gold in it, which I thought was kind of weird. But it's kind of cool and I really kind of sort of like it. All right, so to achieve a soft glam, you want uh, an eyeshadow look that is going to show up, but it shouldn't stand out and overwhelm the rest of the look that you have going. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use um, a mon monochromatic color scheme using shades of mauve. Um, all of them are neutral, all of them are cool toned, and I'm starting off with this very light brown mauve shade. Well. A very light mauve shade with a brown undertone it has a neutral brown undertone and that's gonna be my first color the second shade that I'm gonna use is a deeper mauve with a little bit more of a red base it's still pretty neutral but it does have a red base to it oh um, and I forgot to say before that uh, for a soft glam look, we're using mostly um, liquid and cream products because we're trying to keep it soft and powders can be a little bit harsh. So even though I'm not using a setting powder uh, for the look, I did spray um, setting spray on my face when I put the foundation on. I just forgot to show it in the video. All right, now you can use shimmers for a soft glam look, uh, but once again, the point is to not let it uh, overwhelm the look. So you wanna use a muted shimmer like the one that I used here. This is a muted neutral uh, mauve with a brown undertone. 
And finally, for the look, I am going to use, instead of a liquid liner that's probably going to be very, very harsh, I'm using the black shade from the same palette, which by the way is the Makeup uh, Revolution uh, Cosmic Palette. I'm using that as a liner, and then I'm going to use the same brush that I used uh, to put it on to also smudge it out so that it, it looks kind of feathery and not quite so harsh. Okay, now also for a soft glam look, the order that we put our products on in is also um, key to achieving a soft glam look. So most of the products that I'm going to be using, I'm putting them on before I put foundation on. And for, especially for highlighter since, under eye highlighter, since we don't want a brightening highlighter, we're looking for something that is skin toned, colored. And so I'm going to be using this Inglot concealer, which is skin tone shaded and also has a peach undertone to cancel out dark circles. This is probably also the only time you will ever see me use a sponge to work out uh, concealer under the eye. It just works really well with this particular concealer um, and because we want the look to be very soft. We're putting on our contour first, and of course you have to use a cream contour if you're going to put it on first, so I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Tantor for that, and I'm putting on a little bit more than I normally would put on. I'm going a little bit ham, let's be honest about it. Um, so, yeah. By the way, if you hear anything in the background, I'm cooking and stuff is happening on the stove. Anyway. So I am working this in, I'm blending it out, but I'm not going to be blending it out as much as I normally would um, because when we put the foundation over it, we still want it to show up. All right, so I'm going to be using a strobing, strobing cream underneath the foundation also, just to give a little bit more of a lit from within glow. Normally I would use the Peach Light from MAC, but um, today I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution strobing cream because it's gold, I think it will hold up better under the foundation and um, not blend in with my skin so much like the MAC one would. And I'm just putting it on all the parts of my face that, you know, the light would normally hit, like my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, above my eyebrows, and all that good jazz. The foundation that I'm going to be using is the Dior Forever 24 Undercover Foundation. Um, one of the reasons why I'm using this foundation is because, number one, I love the way it applies with a beauty sponge, which, um, by the way, this is probably the most you will ever see me use a beauty sponge is in this video, but I do like the way this applies with a beauty sponge. It applies very smoothly and looks kind of airbrushed. Um, and also because this foundation does already on its own have a little bit of a glow to it. Now, you could go in with bronzer if you wanted after, uh, if you feel like you needed more contouring, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a blush as a sculpting blush, just putting it in the hollows of my cheeks to begin with, and then tapping it onto the apples of my cheeks afterwards. Now because I'm super extra after I put on that blush, I'm going to go in with the Ilamasca highlighter that I got earlier this summer and use it almost as a blush topper, putting it on the high points of my cheekbones and then blending it downwards into the blush since it's basically the same color, just shiny.
For lips, you would normally go for something really glossy, but because I don't use gloss, I'm going to combine this MAC Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Sex Machine. And then on top of it, I'm going to put the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe. I don't remember what the, what the name of this particular one is. And I'm just going to work it in with my fingers, and I'm not using a lip liner because, once again, we're trying to keep everything soft. Um, and we just want it to look natural, so I'll clean up the edges of my lips, but that's basically all I'm doing. I should have blotted as well, but I forgot, so oh well. For brows, I am only going to be using a brow gel because I have caterpillars on my forehead, so I don't really need much. But if you don't have a lot of brows, you might want to go in with your regular brow routine. But for me, this works really well. And that's it guys, that's the look. Once again, I did not use any setting powder. I combined my setting spray with my foundation. I forgot to show that to you, but I hope you like this look and I will see you in the next one. Bye.